Hello, this is Calvin. Today I'm going to show you an update for the AM32 uh, on the Stinger BHD. Uh, as everybody know, uh, BL32, BL32 is already uh, no longer available on the market, so we have to use AM32. And so far, I feel AM32 is actually pretty good compared to BL32 because there is a lot of things you can customize and you can specifically to tune the ESC to fitting with the motor. And here is an update that I like to show you to make this one uh, the performance to the next level. Okay, let's uh, check out. This is actually uh, the setting from the factory and then I will show you what's going on in here. Before I use the AM32, I'm going to show you on Beta Fright to see how the motor looks like right now. So plug in the power. Make sure every time when you um, doing ESC setting, take out your propeller. This is very important. If you don't do it, you might hurt yourself. Okay, let's connect to Beta Fright and then we go to motor and in here Let's try with the motor 3. Motor 3, it's more clear here, you can see it. Motor 3. So when I move up the, the motor, uh, the, the bar in here, when I go up and down, see, or I already lowered to zero throttle, but it's still spinning. It, it, it got the, the, the momentum and it's not stopping because there is no active braking. And this is the, the setting uh, from our factory and then they actually didn't realize the active braking is not on, and then also the setting is not perfect for the current uh, uh, the current batch for the Stinger B for the first batch of the Stinger B, and then I'm going to show you how to make this one better. So let's go to uh, you can go to Google and then type in AM32 configurator, and you will pop up this uh, page, and in here you just have to connect to your computer click port select and then select the infinity only 1255 hit connect and after that hit connect again on the corner here and after that you will see uh, you have to click read and you will read all the setting from the fright controller and this is uh, this is what it looks like right now and when you're doing the change, you don't need to fresh firmware. You just need to do a couple things uh, of the setting. So first of all, you have to uh, open the active braking, which is on this check mark, complementary PWM. You have to click this check box to turn it on. And then the timing in here is 22.5, right? It's too much. Uh, let's lower it down to, I think 15, 15 is better. And then the KV value, you don't need to do anything. Startup power, you don't need to do anything. Motor pose is right, it's 12. And the beeper, now I think it's too loud. Let's drop it down to seven. And the PWM frequency here, let's drop it down to uh, 37 to 74. And the other things is uh, brake on stop. We don't need this actually. This is basically for fixed wing. So I'll turn this one off. And then uh, for the limit here, temperature limit, current limit, just leave it whatever it has. Uh, after that, go up and click save. And it will save all the setting to four ESC. And make sure uh, when the, the, the drone comes with the setting, it already have the reverse and then non reverse from the factory. And you'll, it already makes sure uh, the motor rotation is correct. You don't have to change this part, but if you change it, make sure uh, go to beta fright and make sure your motor spinning is in the right directions. Basically, the, the factory configuration are doing prop out configuration. So this motor are spinning uh, counterclockwise, and this motor are clockwise, and this motor are uh, also clockwise as this one, and then the first one motor it's counterclockwise as the fourth motor. So make sure your motor uh, direction is it's, it's correct. And then you can uh, disconnect and go to beta fry and check what it looks like right now. Let's plug in the power. Connect on beta fry motor. Okay, let's turn this on. Let's try with the motor three. Uh, let me show you how it looks like right now. 
So this is with the active braking. When I'm moving the speed, you see like when I move down the speed to zero, it immediately stops the motor. This is what we want. And this is this is very, very important. The active braking is very important for uh, multi-rotor, especially quadcopter for FPV, because when people are doing freestyle uh, on Acromo or Airmo, this active braking will make the performance of the drone the next, to the next level. So change that, you will you will feel totally different if you have the first batch of the uh, the Stinger B comes with the AM32. Just change this part, you will make it totally different. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.